Chip. This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Yo, yo. What up, though, people? I'd like to welcome you back to the Keep the C No podcast. As always, I am your boy Brown. I'd like to shout you out. If this is your first time tuning in on YouTube. Please hit the sub button, hit the like button, and keep it a C note and hit the bell so you can get notified when we drop content. This is the week six NFL recap. We had a lot going on. Let's start it off in ATL. They was hosting San Fran. They came away with the 28 to 14 victory. Mariota, he got busy. 129, two touchdowns. Caleb Huntley, 59 yards on the ground. And Zacchaeus, he had four catches for 58 yards. Shout out Kyle Pitts, he got into the end zone. I think Mariota started the game like 9 for 9, 10 for 10, something like that. But he definitely got busy. The Falcons are now 3-3, three and three people. Shout out to Vito. And the San Fran boys, they looked horrible. Jimmy G, 296, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Jeff Wilson Jr., he did nothing on the ground this week, 25 yards. But we had a Brandon Ayuk sighting, people. He definitely got busy, eight catches, 83 yards, two touchdowns. San Fran is three and three people. Their secondary... A little shaky right now. They got everybody out in the secondary. Yikes, Vito. Vito say as long as they get uh, Bosa back, they'll be good. But that's secondary right now. They can't cover nobody. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Next up, we had New England. They was in Cleveland. Billy Zapp with the start again. And he came away with the 38-15 victory. Shout out Belichick, um, I believe he's tied for second all times with wins, most wins. Billy Zapp, 309 through the air, two touchdowns. Ramondre Stevenson got busy, 76 yards on the ground, two touchdowns. Devontae Parker, four catches, 64 yards. New England is three and three people. As for Cleveland... Jacoby Brissett playing against his old team, the team that drafted him. He threw for 266, a touchdown, but two picks. Nick Chubb did absolutely nothing, 56 yards on the ground. Donovan Peoples-Jones, four catches, 74 yards. Cleveland is now 2-4, and four, people. Yikes. Yikes. Shout out to New England. How you feeling about New England? Do we got a controversy brewing? Do you keep Belly in as the starter? Or do you bring Mac Jones back when he ready? Keep it a C note. I ain't going to lie. Billy Zapp got that, that offense moving up and down the field and putting points on the board. I'm just saying. Next up, we had the Jets. They was in Green Bay. They came away with the 27-10 victory. Zach Wilson threw for 110, but Brees Hall, he got busy today. 116 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Corey Davis, two catches, 52 yards. The Jets are 4-2. and two. Shout out Sauce Gardner. I see you running around with the cheese head all on your head after the game. Pause. The Jets look like that defense might be for real, people. Um, after looking at this game, I realized I'm like, I, I, I had Green Bay winning this game, but then I realized I'm like, Salah is the coach for the Jets and Salah and the Jets. They, I mean, Sam, he coached San Fran. They, they own Aaron Rodgers. So, you know, Aaron Rodgers, 246, a touchdown. Jordan Love did get some playing time. A.J. Dillon, 41 yards on the ground and Robert Tunyon got busy. 10 catches, 90 yards. Green Bay is 3-3, three and three, people. How you feel about them? They're two games behind Minnesota now. It's looking shaky. I'm just keeping it a C note. Next up, we had Indy, Matty Ice, and the boys. They was hosting Jacksonville. 
They came away with the late victory, 34-27. Matty Ice, he threw for 309 and three touchdowns. We had a Deion Jackson sighting people. The third string running back, 42 yards on the ground and a touchdown. And shout out Michael Pittman Jr., 100 and, uh, 134 yards on 13 catches. Indy's now 3-2-1, and one, people. How you feeling about them? As for Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, 165 in the touchdown. Travis Etienne, 86 yards on the ground. And Zay Jones, he had five catches for 42 yards. Jacksonville's 2-4. and four. Next up, shout out Minnesota. They was in Miami. They came away with the 24-16 victory. Kirk Cousins, 175, two touchdowns. Dalvin Cook, 77 on the ground in the touchdown. And Justin Jefferson, he definitely got busy. Six catches, 107 yards. Minnesota's 5-1, and one, people. On the low. I know, they, I know they got bombed by the Eagles, but the Eagles' defense is good. Like, uh, is Minnesota for real, people? Keep it a C note. Let us know. As for Miami, they started off with Scott, Skylar Thompson, but he got hurt. Teddy Bridgewater came in. He threw for 329, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Raheem Mostert did nothing on the ground, 49 yards. But Tyreek Hill got busy, 12 catches, 177 yards. Shout out Tyreek Hill. Miami's 3-3. Three and three. They looking bad without Tua. Hopefully he'll be back next week. Cincinnati, they was in New Orleans. Trying to get back to 500. They accomplished the mission. Came away with the 30-26 victory. Burrow threw for 300 yards, two touchdowns, and he ran for a touchdown. Mixing 45 yards on the ground, and Jamar Chase got busy. 7-132, two touchdowns, including the one that put them up. Since he's 3-3, three and three, they scratching and surviving. Andy Dalton got the start for New Orleans. He threw for 162 and a touchdown. Kamara, 99 yards on the ground. He really did nothing through the air. Traquan Smith, three catches, 43 yards and a touchdown. New Orleans is 2-4. and four. Giants, the other team from New York that's been rocking. They was hosting Baltimore. Lamar Jackson and the boys. Shout out to the G men. They are now five and one with the twenty four twenty victory. Daniel Jones one seventy three through the air and two touchdowns. Saquon Barkley eighty three yards touchdown, game winning touchdown. Daniel Bellinger five catches thirty eight yards and a touchdown. These guys are now considered the comeback kids. They came back from 10 again this week. As for Baltimore, if the Giants are the comeback kids, uh, Baltimore's can't get right. Third blown lead this season. Lamar Jackson, 210 through the air, touchdown. Uh, 72, 77 yards on the ground. Um, but he did, he did throw that costly interception, and he also fumbled in the clutch too, so... Kenyon Drake, he got busy. He just he was just activated. He was just working in Walmart, people. Kenyon Drake is back in the league. He had 119 on the ground and a touchdown. Shout out Mark Andrews. Seven catches, 106 yards and a touchdown. Baltimore is three and three. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta keep it a C note. This city, this season is looking shaky. It's just up and down. All it, it's crazy. And you know. Pittsburgh, they had they had the Kenny Pickett era start. They, they, you know, they was hosting Tampa Bay. Pickett got hurt. Trubisky had to come in, save the day. Shout out Pittsburgh. They came away with a 20-18 victory. Pickett did throw for a touchdown before he got hurt. Trubisky threw for 144 and a touchdown. Najee Harris, 42 yards on the ground. But the surprise of the day, people, shout out Pittsburgh Steelers. Shout out to Steeler Nation. We had a Chase Claypool sighting, people. Seven catches, 96 yards, and a touchdown. 
He finally got busy. Pittsburgh is 2-4. and four. As for Tampa, yikes, Tom Brady was going crazy, cursing out his offensive line on the side and everything. He threw for 243 and a touchdown. Fournette, 63 yards on the ground. Chris Godwin, six catches, 95 yards. Tampa Bay is 3-3. Three and three. Now listen, people, I've heard everything coming into the season from Brady was going to get his eighth ring and walk off to Tampa was going to go undefeated. If you had Tampa in the Super Bowl before the season started, keep it a signal. Do you still feel like they are a Super Bowl team? Let me know. Holla at your boy. Next up, we had the Rams defending champs. They was on a two-game losing streak trying to get back to 500 hosting Carolina. They came away with the 24-10 victory. Stafford, 253, a touchdown, but he threw another pick six. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Daryl Henderson, 43 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Cooper Cup, seven catches, 80 yards. Shout out Allen Robinson. He had like five catches a day. The Rams are 3-3. Three and three. Still not impressed. We're going on the bye. We need to regather. The old line will be back after the bye. We play San Fran. But I got to keep it a casino. If we wasn't playing Carolina, we'd have lost this game too. I'm just keeping it a casino. As for P.J. Walker, 60 yards through the air. Christian McCaffrey, 69 yards on the ground. Seven catches for 89 yards. Shout out Christian McCaffrey, too, because, you know, I got sources. And sources tell me that this was Christian McCaffrey's audition for Sean McVay and the Rams. You know, McCaffrey is on the trade block. I'm getting a word that, you know, this is around the time when the Rams like to make their moves right before the bye. But I'm being told that, uh, you know, it's a good chance Christian McCaffrey just did a good a good enough job to come on over to the Ramley. What up, though, Vito? I know you're hating. <laughs> um, next up, we had Seattle. Shout out Geno Smith, Seattle. They trying to get back to 500. They was hosting Arizona. They came away with the 19-9 victory. Geno Smith threw for 197. Kenneth Walker, the third, 91 yards on the ground and a touchdown. And Noah Font has six catches for 45 yards. Seattle's three and three. Kyler Murray looked horrible. Arizona looked horrible. He threw for 222 in an interception, but he did run for 100 yards. Zach Ertz, seven catches, 70 yards. Arizona's two and four. But DeAndre Hopkins is back. He will be back in the next game. So let's see if that changes things for the Cardinals. What you think, people? You think DeAndre Hopkins coming back is going to be the spark the Cardinals need? Or stick a fork in them, they done. Keep it a C note with us. On paper, they were saying this was the game of the day. We had Buffalo. They was going to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. And there's been a lot of hype since the last playoff game. And, I don't know if the game lived up to the hype, but Buffalo did get the 24, the 20 victory. Josh Allen, 329 through the air, three touchdowns. Devin Singletary, 85 yards on the ground. And shout out Stephon Diggs. He got busy. 10 catches, 148 yards and a touchdown. Buffalo was 5-1, and one, and they looked for real. Mahomes, he threw for 338, two touchdowns, two interceptions, including the one to seal the game. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, 33 yards on the ground. And people, it must have been a Pittsburgh day. Pittsburgh won the game. Chase Claypool got busy. Juju Smith Schuster got busy. Five catches, 113 yards and a touchdown. KC falls to four and two. Keep it a C note. What's your thoughts on that? Is that the upset of the day? Was it the Pittsburgh game? Keep it a C note. Let us know. 
Sunday night football. We had the Eagles trying to stay undefeated. They was at home taking on Dallas. Cooper Rush coming into the game undefeated. Shout out Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. They are now 6-0. and They came away with the 26-17 victory. Hurts threw for 155 and two touchdowns. Miles Sanders, 71 yards on the ground and a touchdown. A.J. Brown, five catches, 67 yards, touchdown. What's your thoughts, people? We got a lot of people jumping the gun, pause. A lot of people talking undefeated. Keep it a C note. Can you see it? Let us know. As for Dallas, Cooper Rush came back down to reality. 181, a touchdown, and three of them things. He threw three picks, people. Yikes. Zeke Elliott, 81 yards on the ground and a touchdown. C.D. Lamb, five catches, 68 yards. Dallas is 4-2, and two, and because the Giants are 5-1, and one, just like that, Dallas slipped to third place. But I can't lie, that defense is mean. Shout out to the Eagles defense. That defense is mean. But, um, you know, I already told y'all Christian McCaffrey from what sources told me. This was his workout for the Rams. He's on the trade block. But keep it a C note. Who do you think would be a good team for Christian McCaffrey to go to? Let us know in the comments where you want to see him at. Um, next up. Which three and three quarterback do you believe in more that can still make a run in the season and deep in the playoffs? Is it Aaron Rodgers? Is it Tom Brady? Which which quarterback do you believe in more? Keep it a C note with us. Let us know. Speaking of Aaron Rodgers, um, shout out Tyreek Hill. Like I said, he got busy today, even though they lost. Pick one, clip one. Are you more surprised that Tyreek Hill, who a lot of people said without Mahomes, was was going to drop off? Are you more surprised that Ty, Tyreek Hill has been getting busy this year or that Aaron Rodgers has struggled so much without Devontae Adams? Pick one, clip one. Um, I will say I'm more surprised with the Tyreek Hill thing. I kind of thought Aaron Rodgers would struggle. I told Vito that early in the season, um, before the season started. So, yeah, I didn't think Tyreek Hill would get busy like that, but he definitely getting busy. What's your thoughts on it, though, people? Biggest surprise for you so far this season that Tyreek Hill has continued to ball out without Mahomes. Or that Aaron Rodgers has struggled without Devontae Adams. Let us know. My power rankings for the week. To end the week six off, I got Minnesota Vikings. Shout out to them there at five and one. That's my number five team. My number four team, even though Kansas City lost, I still got them as the fourth best team right now when four and two. I got the Giants at three. At five and one, shout out to the Giants. They they just somehow know how to win games. Number two, I got Buffalo at five and one, and I think the best team in the league right now, Philadelphia Eagles at six and zero. Oh. Keep it a C no dope people. After six weeks, what's your top five teams in the league? Drop a comment. Let us know. Monday night football. You got Denver at the Los Angeles Chargers. Keep it a C no who you got. Let us know. Um, I had I, I I'm taking charges, L.A. Charges. So that's who I got. They and so far, I think L.A. L.A. come up, wrap week six up with two wins. But what's your thoughts on it, people? Keep the C note with us. Um, as always, I appreciate you for tuning in for the recap. Again, if this is your first time tuning in, please hit the sub button, hit the like button, also hit the notification bell. So you can get notified when we drop content. As always, I am your boy, Brown. Please tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to tell everybody. Keep the C note. I holla at y'all.
This is what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I'm feeling like. Da, 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 da.